coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Fruit Issues introduces Parachute Launcher for DJI Mavic Pro. FAA begins drone airspace authorization expansion. EAA and ANN announce 2018 AirVenture Innovation Preview. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. One of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. The Fruity Shoots Harrier Launcher is now available for the popular DJI Mavic Pro quadcopter. The 40mm Harrier Launcher features a high-energy compression spring that ejects the parachute out and away from the Mavic Pro quickly. The launcher has no regulatory or transportation limitations, so it can be used anywhere. The centerpiece of the parachute system is the Fruity Shoots Iris Ultra Light Chute, weighing less than an ounce. The parachute has a normal rating of 2.5 pounds at 15 feet per second descent rate after deployment providing a nice gentle landing. The parachute can easily work at heavier loads, weights of up to 2.4 kilograms or more. The parachute system is entirely self-contained and not reliant on the Mavic Pro power, so it works even if the copter's battery has a complete failure. The automatic trigger system can detect if the drone suddenly falls, rolls, or flips. Detection of a fall typically takes just 0.75 seconds or about 16 feet of freefall. By the time the pilot notices a problem, the parachute will already be ejected. In the next drone minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. The Drone Racing League, the international premier drone racing organization, today announced global expansion plans with a 2018 race in France at the Alliance Riviera Stadium. Media partnership with Group AB and the extension of the Alliance title partnership of the DRL Championship Race Series. This will bring the first pro drone race to the Alliance Riviera Stadium in Nice on Saturday, June 16, 2018. At least 65 people have been rescued by drones in the last year, according to a new report issued Monday by DJI, the world's leader in civilian drones and aerial imaging technology. The report gathers accounts from news outlets and public safety agencies around the world and includes 27 separate incidents on five continents. The FAI World Air Sports Federation is on a quest to find an inspirational recipient worthy of the Prince Alivero de Orleans Warbin Grant, a $20,000 cash award for air sports pioneers involved in research and innovation. Open to both individuals and institutions, the theme of the 2018 grant is Drones for Humanity. As the world governing body for all air sports, the FAI is responsible for the exciting world of drone sports said FAI President Fritz Brink. The European Emergency Number Association, a Brussels-based public safety NG and DJI, recently celebrated how drones have saved lives in complicated rescue missions and announced they are extending their research partnership to further integrate drones into rescue operations. At EENA's annual 112th awards ceremony in Slovenia, the Dalvik Search and Rescue Team from Iceland received the Outstanding Tech for Safety Award, honoring their amazing rescue of two cousins stranded on the side of a mountain. That was our Drill Minute, now back to the rest of the news. The FAA has begun expanding an automated system that will ultimately provide near real-time processing of airspace authorization requests for UAS operators nationwide. The FAA is now phasing in a nationwide beta test of the low altitude authorization and notification capability that will deploy the system incrementally at nearly 300 air traffic facilities, covering approximately 500 airports. The first facilities taking part in the beta test are listed on the FAA website. The final deployment will begin on September 13th. Lance helps support the safe integration of drones into the nation's airspace. Drone operators using the system can receive near-real-time airspace authorization. 
This dramatically decreases the wait experience using the manual authorization process and allows operators to quickly plan their flights. Lance uses airspace data provided through temporary flight restrictions. NOTAMs and UAS facility maps that show the maximum altitude ceiling around airports where the FAA may authorize operation under Part 107. Beginning April 16, the FAA also began considering agreements with additional entities to provide land services. Supplier applications must be made by May 16. Interested parties can find information on the application process on the FAA website. Attention model aviation companies going to Oshkosh. ANN is already hard at work on the next edition of our Airborne Innovation Preview Programming for this year's amazing EAA AirVenture fly-in in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, set for July 23rd through 29th, 2018. Past AIPs have had an extraordinary effect. The AIP is a massive news teaser, an invitation to promote all the amazing innovations that make Oshkosh one of the most outstanding examples of ingenuity and aero entrepreneurialism, period. In the hours preceding AirVenture 2018, carefully screened companies will have the chance to participate in the AIP, wetting the whistle of the aviation population with upwards of 40 short 3-4 to four minute online presentations, offering a glimpse into what is really new at Oshkosh 2018. The multi-hour program will be distributed by EAA, a and and Aero TV and will be made available to a number of media outlets for distribution in the hours before the advent of OSH-18, in order to further cement AirVenture as the center point of aviation innovation. Potential participants are urged to contact ANN as soon as possible to reserve a slot and an invitation to participate in this year's Must View event. Over a million views have been totaled for ANN's AIP and NPI productions. And with the addition of new content partners, that number is expected to be eclipsed handily this year. Information may be requested from ANN by emailing jim at news.net. Well, that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And in addition to this program are daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.